Hey guys, it's Lee with the Turquoise Valentine and we are going to do a kind of a painting kind of thing tonight. Um, I had some requests uh, to do this, so that's what we're going to do tonight. Um, we're going to use a canvas. We're going to do the reverse canvas. Say hey once you get on. Um, so we are going to have some fun tonight with some cotton. Hey Tina. Hey Carol. Um, so I have, um, Nancy Taylor and she'll be on here in just a minute. She has been requesting for me to do this for quite some time. Hey, Christine. Hey, Wanda and Graham. Um, all my friends. Hey, Mary Beth. Um, so I don't see Nancy on yet, but there's Nancy. Hey, Nancy, we're doing your cotton tonight. So you keep asking me about it. So I was like, I gotta do it. I gotta do it because Nancy keeps asking me. So um, thank y'all all for jumping on. Um, so we're gonna kind of do a little bit of mixed media tonight, kind of like we did the pumpkins, but not entirely, but it is involving painting and canvas. So um, I love to paint on canvas. Uh, I haven't done a lot for y'all and my husband always says, oh, you need to do some of your painting with them and stuff. It's just really hard to show at this angle. Hey, Colin. Hey, everybody. Thank y'all for sprinkling. Um, hey, Kathy and Kim. Um, anyway, so uh, I kind of done a little prep work beforehand because what part of this requires a good bit of drying time. So, um, so I'm going to... I've already got one kind of that's done that I did this afternoon. It's dry, but I'm going to, that's halfway done. The part that has to dry, but I'm going to do it all for you from the beginning. And then I'm going to bring out the one that's dry and finish it. So, cause it has to dry, um, a good bit of time. So what I did is here's my reverse canvas. Y'all seen me do that before. Um, Hey Bobby and Crystal and all my friends. So, um, so I took a, this is, um, 11 by 14. This is the same size that we did, uh, the pumpkins the other night. It's the same exact size. Um, I have a bunch of packs of them, so I'm using them up. Um, so I am, um, I took the, I've already taken the canvas off. As you can see, I cut it and took it off and I got my frame. So for purposes of showing you how to do this, like I said, I'm going to do, um, I'm going to do everything step by step and then I'm going to bring out the one that's already dried and you'll understand in a minute why I did, I'm doing two. So, um, yes, Pat, I had a good Friday. Uh Oh, Jackie, it didn't come out good. What happened? Um, so anyway, so I took the canvas that was in here. Okay. For just for y'all's purpose to show y'all and I just put it on a piece of foam board. Okay. I just cut it and put it on here. So this is my canvas. So just pretend this is my canvas. Um, so because what I'm going to use to put in the frame is actually a, it's a canvas board, but you can totally do this on a canvas. Um, I, I just did it this way. Just, I don't really know why I did it this way. That's the way I chose to do it. So, um, so we're going to start, but we're going to paint some cotton and, um, we're going to do the background. We're going to do everything and make the frame. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to go ahead and stain my frame right here. Um, and let that be drying while we're working on the picture. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and do this. Um, y'all seen me do this before. Where's all my stuff? And this time I'm not going to do brown. Um, the glue stick did not e even E6000, it toppled over. Oh no! You have to, sometimes with E6000, you kind of have to tape it in place, maybe overnight, and it'll stay. So try it again. Hey, Tracy from Minnesota. Thank y'all for sprinkling. Y'all are so sweet. I'm glad all my friends are here. So I just took some, this is some Michael's Craft Smart um, Graphite. You know, and I, you see me do this with my burnt umber. So I, tonight, there's a, some gray in this picture, so I'm going to do some gray. So I'm gonna um, I'm gonna make me some. It's really not muddy water tonight. It's a little bit of it's gray, so it's not brown. So I'm just gonna add a little water to my gray paint, and I always pour too much, so I'm trying not to pour too much. And I'm just gonna mix it up with my water to make my little stain. Hey, from New Jersey and Colorado and North Carolina, I did have a good week, Penny. Penny. You actually won the gnomes the other night. 
and I just see your name on there, and you need to message me your address. I don't think you were on the other night when I announced it. Thank y'all for sprinkling. So, did y'all have a good week? Hey, Linda. Okay, so I'm just making my, let me get my paper towel over here. I have a, a paper towel holder under my table, which is awesome. Okay, so I don't know if I've got it watered enough. Hey, Mary Ann for Aberdeen. Just gonna add a little bit more water. I've got two jars of water out here tonight, so it's kind of serious. <laughs> One for the paint. And did you get a farmhouse calendar? No, I haven't got the farmhouse calendar, but I have looked. Um, but I did get the... Uh, the other one with the animals on it. Okay. Sponsored by Nancy Taylor. That's right, Sandy. This this craft is, is at Nancy Taylor's request. And this is just one of the ways that I do my cotton. But um, So I'm just going to take my frame, do like I always do, and just stain it with this, brown, with this gray. And normally I use brown. So I don't know if this is going to do as well as the brown, but we're going to see. So I hope y'all had a good week. I've had a good week. Um, it seemed like a long week to me, but I made it. We all made it. We're all here. So our our kids were supposed to go to school this coming Monday, and they pushed it up. Well, pushed it forward, um, and they're not going until the seventeenth. So we got that news yesterday. Because they were supposed to go the 10th. And now they're not going until the 17th. So, can't find the farmer's market calendar anywhere. I can't find it either. But, um, you know, all those people bought it up and put it on eBay for $100. And some ridiculous stuff like that. But, um, it's okay. You can get on Pinterest. You can Google. You can find all kind of images that look identical to that. And it's, you know... It's not worth $100 for a dollar calendar to them in the Dollar Tree. I just want to know who bought those for $100. I'd just like to talk to them and say, what is it about that calendar that you think you needed it for $100? How does someone send you happy mail? Um, you can just PM me and ask me for my address. Or if I've sent you a package, it should be on there. Um, or if, you, you know, if you've uh, ordered something from me, that's on there too. I saw those greedy people. I just saw pictures on, on, you know, different pages about it. I didn't actually go to eBay and look. So, I guess maybe it might be people that work at Dollar Tree and say, oh, well, I'm going to just sell these for, I don't know. It may be. That had first access to all the calendars. But I see people getting them, so... I have some marketplace calendars. I will give it away. Oh, wow. The all are sweet. Okay. I just don't need one bad enough to pay $100. I know y'all probably don't either. I think that's just crazy. So, anyway. So, I'm just taking my, my little water and my craft paint. This is just the easy way of staining. If you've never seen me do this, um, a lot of crafters do this rather than stain. Just because it doesn't smell. It dries really quick. And... You get the same effect as if you use stain, but it just doesn't stink and you don't have to have um, mineral spirits and all that kind of stuff with like you would regular stain. But, and you can do it inside. If you do, um, right, you know, the regular stain, you got to do it outside because it's real strong and has a lot of fumes and some people can't breathe all that stuff in. And so I'm just trying to get all my my stuff covered because I'm probably going to, I might hang this somewhere in my house. We'll see if it turns out good. <laughs> it might not turn out really good, but I can't wait to see what y'all do with this because y'all have been putting some stuff. Um, Lou, it is pretty. It is, it's just graphite, Michael's graphite paint. And um, it's just graphite that craft smart. And I just put a little water in it. And it's just neat the way the wood takes different the different tones of it. So I, that's kind of what I was going for. I didn't want to just paint it flat gray. I wanted it to have a little bit of character to it. So that's what I'm doing. 
So anyway, so that's kind of what it looks like. See like right here where it took it on that one strip and then up here it didn't want to take it. So that's just, just the way the wood is. So I've tried to go over it a couple of times, but it just keeps doing the same thing. So that's just the way the wood took the paint. So it's just kind of unique in its own way and they'll all be different every time you do it. But the brown does cover a lot better. But I'm going to set this over here and I'm going to let it dry while we're doing our other part. Finally Friday. <laughs> I know I get excited because I, um, I want to come on here and chat with y'all and talk to y'all and see what's going on. Okay, so this is my canvas. It is canvas because I glued it to my foam board. But um, So this is my canvas. How do I send my pumpkins? Um, I have, Liz, I have a, um, a group. It's called the Turquoise Valentine's Crafters Reveal. And it's at the, it's pinned at the top of my uh, business page. So if you go there and click on that link, it'll take you to the group and you just, uh, it'll let you in. So anyway, okay. So now we're going to paint our background. And, um, what I'm going to do first and you may have seen some crafters do this before or artists or whoever is um, I'm actually going this is like a dry canvas so I'm actually just gonna wet my paintbrush there's my I got a cup of water and a jar of water and everything um, so I'm just gonna wet my paintbrush really good and then I'm just gonna brush over my canvas with the water and it's already prepped with a material called gesso. I don't know if y'all know. That's Most canvases already have that on there. And this just kind of, to me, it just kind of preps the canvas to get ready for you to put paint on it. And makes your paint smooth a little bit better. Go smooth. So that's all it does, you know. And today when I did it, I got a little too much water. But it was okay. The way it turned out, it was fine. So... And then I'll sit here and kind of, oh, thank you, Kelly. You're so sweet. It is a good group. Everybody's friendly and everybody um, gives everybody, you know, good reviews on their crafts and stuff. And oh my gosh, they're so, everything's so good. And I'm just like, oh my gosh, these people are just so talented. I just love seeing everybody's take on different things. Okay, so I just blotted a little bit off because I did get a lot of water on my canvas. So I know you can't see, but see it's shiny wet. It's just wet with, with uh, the water. And now I'm going to use my favorite color. Everything in this room is pretty much painted this color. Um, so um, anyway, so I am going to just take my paint and freak y'all out. And just put it on there like that. And the paint does kind of mix with the water a little bit. But that's okay because it's going to dry. But um, it'll dry eventually. But you could use any color for your background. But you got to remember we're painting um, white cotton. So you got to have a little bit of something to have a contrast. Um, oh, okay. That's neat to know. Uh, Kay uh, Kaylee, I couldn't even think get it out. Glue to the page watching you. <laughs> Y'all are so sweet. So that's all I'm doing. I'm just brushing my paint on. And like I said, it is mixing with the water, but it makes it glide really good. But um, this is probably my favorite part. There's just something about brushing that paintbrush on that canvas that, sh I don't know, it's just soothing to me. I love to paint. I get on a kick where I'll paint canvases and stuff, and then I'll get on to something else piece of fuzz in it so um do y'all like to paint oh Heidi we're well, welcome if you're the first time you're in the right place if this is your favorite color because it's my favorite color too it's just so happy and cheery and I love it so I know look at this big old brush but it's well loved can't you tell I have so many brushes and that's for me leaving them in the water too long but anyway, so then I got that on there and it's all, like I said, it's still wet because it, it, it mixed in with the water so you can see it's still wet. But the water kind of helps you too because 
you know, sometimes when you start painting with craft paint and then by the time you get down here to the bottom, then this over here has already started to dry and you can't play with it a lot. So, um, what's the name of the turquoise color? It's called Light Turquoise and it's the Anita's acrylic that I get at Hobby Lobby. It's probably the most inexpensive one that they have at Hobby Lobby. So, um, it's, it's called Light Turquoise is what that's called. And I have about six bottles of it because I, I paint all my room accessories with it. What is the actual color? Okay, now this color is um, Peacock Teal and it's Deco Art. But it's like a darker shade because we're going to kind of, I don't want to have just a plain, uh, Bobby, I'm going to paint some cotton. Um, so I don't want to have just a solid background. I want to have a little bit of uh, dimension in there. So I'm just going to, while this is still wet, I'm just going to go and mix this darker color with that lighter color. Because uh, we're going to make this look like um, old wood or wood planks is what I'm going for. I was, I was going to do the background with um, scrapbook paper. And I saw this pretty blue scrapbook paper that I had. And, um, it was blue wood planks from Hobby Lobby. Y'all have probably seen it or probably had some of it. And, um, that's kind of what inspired me to do this. Because then I thought, well, the technique I'm going to do may not hold up on the scrapbook paper. So, that's where the, the blue came in. Okay. So, that's why I'm painting it. It look, it does look a different color on camera. So, when you see the after picture, you'll know it, it, look, it does look different. But there's a whole lot of dimension in there. Doing those two color variants kind of gives you more of a depth to your to your picture or your painting or whatever it is you're doing. Um, so I'm gonna put that to the side and my gray. I am gonna um, gonna wash my brush off just a little bit. Everybody likes that 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 color. I do too. It's my fave. All my accents of my room are this color. Like, let me see if I if I can show y'all. Can y'all see this bin down here? This bin, these bins that I have in my cubbies, they were white. Like this one over here is white, and I just took that paint and I just painted the front of them so they would all they would be every other one. So I painted it with this paint, <laughs> so everything would match in my room. So. So I'm gonna use my plate and I'm just gonna get a little bit of that same gray that I did this, the frame with. And I am not liking what that frame looks like, but I may have to go back over it. And I'm just gonna dip my paint, my brush into that gray. I'm gonna dry it off a little bit though. So see, it's still wet. So we're still, you know, it's, it's gonna stay wet with, with the help of that water in our brush. Okay, and I'm just gonna take my brush and I'm just going to drag it a little bit and just try to get me some streaks going in there. And I'm just dabbing a little bit and dabbing it off a little so I don't want it so heavy. And then I'm just going up and down because I'm going to show you because you know what happens to your paintbrush once it gets wet. You see how all the bristles are kind of separated and whatever because they're stuck together because they're wet. So that kind of gives this, this streaky look. I don't know if y'all can see how that looks. So it kind of makes it look a little like wood. That truck, what is that? Is that a beautiful, why do I see something about a truck? Working on my fear. Oh, cool. Good, Kendra. Okay. So I'm just dipping it and then I'm just kind of going back and forth. Like that. So yeah, I'm gonna have to paint that frame again because I'm, I'm not liking the color it turned out to be. I true it dried. I tried to get the darkest gray I could find that I had and it's still kind of that yellow wood looking coming through. So I'm not liking it. See, look, it's not, I don't know. It's not turning out the color that I kind of want it to be. <laughs> so I don't know. I'm gonna have to do something to it. So I'm just putting my, putting it in the, in the gray and just kind of going down my canvas and don't worry if you like that if you get a little too much like I did there we'll go back over it and it's going to smooth it back out so it's going to be fine 
See, it'll just, you just kind of blend it in. But I just want those up and down strokes. But you could go this way if you wanted to. You know, if you wanted to do your boards go in that way, you could definitely go um, the, this way instead of side to side. Just whatever you wanted. I'm just trying to create a some dimension. You know, when you have... You build on your layers. That kind of that kind of gives you a sense of a depth to your picture instead of just one flat color. Um, all the different imperfections and different things in the wood and that kind of stuff. Okay, so I think I'm going to leave it alone. Add a little black to your mixture. Should darken it up a bit. Yeah, I just don't know that. That's not. Ugh, I don't like it. See, it just looks too. It just didn't take the gray, I guess, as much as I wanted it to. All right, well, let me grab some black. Hold on. Somebody said add some black. I gotta add some black. Oh. Okay, I'm back. Don't go nowhere. <laughs> and I didn't even put my apron on. I'm probably gonna get something on my shirt. See, it's the state of Mississippi. Y'all are wondering what's on my shirt. Um, put a dark, okay. So where's my stain? I'm gonna set this over here. So see, it's still pretty wet. I'm going to set it over here and let it dry. And I'm going to work on this because that did not turn out the color that it needed to be. Oh, what am I doing? Okay. I just put a little bit, like y'all said. So we're going to see um, if that works. Let me get my other water over here. And my, I got to stir. Get some black in there. Maybe sand the frame a little and try again. It's soaking it up. It's just... I don't know. It just didn't take the, um, just didn't take the gray like it does the brown. Bought that paper yesterday, Hobby Lobby turquoise and the white. Yes, that's what kind of inspired me to paint this canvas to look like that. Cause I didn't know if the, the well the paper's not big enough to start with for my canvas, and then I was scared that what we're gonna do for the cotton it wouldn't hold up. I just seen another. <laughs> okay. So, I'm just going to go back over my frame again. Okay. Now, it's, it looks pretty black. <laughs> so, we're going to see. Oh, that looks better. But I don't know if it's going to take it and dry as dark as it looks. See? That looks better. But we'll see when it dries. Sorry, guys. I'm having to paint it again. I just didn't like that color oh Lori welcome somebody's new oh good from Kentucky welcome I don't usually paint but tonight we're painting because one of my viewers Miss Nancy Taylor has been begging me to do uh, paint cotton so that's what um, that's what we're doing I've been promising her promising her that I was gonna do it so here we are but this is only going to be one way that I do my I do cotton. It's it's a little more of the fancier way to do it. Besides just using just regular paint, um, so that looks better, doesn't it? Gives it that little bit of charcoaly look. So thank you to whoever said put black in there because that's what I did and it worked. I just thought that gray was going to be dark enough. Okay. That looks better because it kind of matches what we're going to do next. So this is going to be a, it's a little bit of mixed medium because we're going to use that cookie sheet. You know, the cookie sheet we used on the, um, the pumpkins right here. We're going to use that because I still got some cookie sheet left. So if you didn't see the pumpkins over here, the mixed media pumpkins, then um, y'all can go back and catch that. I think I did it. I don't know, a week or so ago, maybe? Okay. So, see? Then it, that looks better, doesn't it? I hope it just dries that color. Okay. I got it all over me. That's why I should have put my apron on, because I'm going to have paint on me. <laughs> just before it's over, I'm going to have paint. Y'all, I almost picked this up and drank it. <laughs> it is clean water, but the jar's not clean. I almost did just like this. <laughs> And I have done that with paint in it. So, <laughs> I have done that. Have y'all done that before? 
All right, let me get my heat gun and we're gonna help this out a little bit. Cause it's, it's still wet, as you can see. See how shiny it looks? So we're gonna help it out. So that water, it gives you some time to work with your paint at the same time and help you move it around the canvas a little bit. Kind of opens the canvas up to take the paint, maybe. Maybe that's what I'm trying to say. That dries it really fast. All right. Okay. So, Nancy, I hope this does not disappoint you. You always dip it in your drink, Brenda. Yes, now I have done that too. I've dipped my paintbrush in my drink, and then you're like, dang. No, I did not make my tumbler. Um, a, a friend of mine on here, um, she's become my friend. Her name's Dana. She, I think she's on. She made my uh, my tumbler for me. It's got my little logo on it, and it has, uh, it says, a little something something, because that's what I say all the time. It has my name on it. But she was so sweet and sent me that. So... Clean water in my brush jar. Well, here's the other. I got two things of water. <laughs> Bobby always gets me about my paint water and leaving my brushes in the paint. Okay. So, yeah, that frame's looking better. Okay, so now we've got this. And it's dry. See how it's not shiny anymore? So, it's dry. Um, so, now we're going to make, and y'all seen me do this before. We're going to make our little boards. So, I've already done this once. And so, I'm going to show you how I did it. Bought a makeup brush cleaner from the Dollar Tree and stuck it in my slop sink and my brush. Oh, that's a good idea. Okay. So, I already know that my frame is going to take up about an inch all the way around the sides. Okay? Because I'm going to put that frame on the top. So, I don't have to go all the way out to the sides with my lines. This is going to be my, my boards that we're making. Um, so, I'm just taking... I just did them the width of my ruler. My ruler's pretty big. I don't... Smokey the Bear. I don't know where Smokey the Bear is. He's not over here tonight. He must be somewhere else. But anyway, so I've got this ruler. It's pretty wide. So that's how big my I want my planks to be. And you can do whatever you want. No, Carol, it's not chalk paint. It's Anita's. And then it's Deco Art. And then a little bit of Michael's Gray in there. That's all it is. Just craft paint. So I'm just going to take my Sharpie. It's a little... The little fine point ones. And you can do a pencil if you want to, just if you're scared. <laughs> yes, reverse canvas. This is 11 by 14. I was going to do 8 by 10. And then I thought, well, it might be too small for y'all to see it. So I just bumped it up to 11 by 14. Because I have a bunch of canvases. Because like, I like to paint. I get in that kick every once in a while to paint canvases. And I have a hung on my walls up here. And... Um, so it's, it's fun. I just like to put that paint on a canvas. It's just something about it. It's just so soothing and relaxing, relaxing. So I'm just taking my ruler and moving it up. I'm just making it. It's the same width as my ruler makes it pretty easy. So I don't have to measure out my lines and that one will be off the canvas. Okay. So I'm not worried about it. So there's our lines. Can y'all see those? Let me see up close. I just drew them with my Sharpie, but I didn't go all the way to the edge because the frame's going to be over here. So I'm not real worried about that. Um, so then going to take a little skinny brush like this. And this is the part that's going to make y'all nervous probably. Um, don't on it to do mine. Oh, y'all are talking. Okay. I'm like, she's talking to me. Okay. So I'm just going to dip a little bit in that same gray that I used on the picture. And I'm just gonna go over my lines. And no, I don't have the steadiest hand ever. But with this, it's okay, because we want it to look like um, the lines in between the board. We don't want it to be dead straight. We just kinda want it to, you know, have that, that natural look to wood that's not exactly straight, like old and chippy kinda. So don't worry about it being straight. So I'm just going to drag it down that line over my Sharpie line that I made. And I'm going to show y'all in a minute what they look like. And I'm going to do that on every one of them. And like I said, they're jagged and they look, you know, all crooked and 
whatever, but that just gives it a little more character. What's Nancy talking about? It's a good idea. She gonna pimp out her card again? <laughs> oh Lord, Nancy, you're not gonna live that down about your craft cart breaking your wheels off. Hey Paula, oh I'm making, I'm, I'm actually doing kind of a mixed media and we're doing cotton, a bunch of cotton. So I'm just going down these lines with my little skinny brush. And then we're gonna move on to the actual cotton part. Y'all gonna be so surprised when you see what I make the cotton with. So, I feel like I'm gonna stick my tongue out in a minute. <laughs> Oh, Dana, well, I'll be honest, um, it takes a lot of practice to paint on canvas and to get it to kind of look like you want it to and know how to kind of mix the colors to give it that depth. It, it takes a lot of practice and, you know, painting and just getting in there and doing something or seeing something on Pinterest and kind of wanting to, um, you know, copy in the picture, just paint, you know, but like I'm showing y'all here, these are just simple lines, but if you break a painting down into just simple shapes and simple um, steps, it's not as hard if you kind of break it down into just one step at a time. Not Because when you look at the whole picture, you're like, oh my goodness, I can't do that. But if you've ever been to one of those... Uh, Painting with a twist or one of those places. Have y'all ever been somewhere like that? Then that's what they do. They break it down into steps. And it makes it kind of doable. Okay, I'm just going to show y'all my lines. Okay, so see? I'm going to show y'all up close. But they're not all straight. They're kind of all squiggly. And, you know, because I don't have a steady hand. So you can see they're kind of imperfect. They're not perfect. They're just lines. This is the cotton painting I was talking about. Yes, because Nancy Taylor has been on me about doing it. So I'm going to do it. Um, yes, I used to watch the PBS painters when I was a kid. And I used to love to watch them. And Bob Ross and all them. So I'm just going to dry those really quick. So it's coming to life. We got, we got some boards on there. And so now, whoop, I'm gonna knock my glue gun over. Now, when I put my paintbrush in the water, I'm going to um, paint some, real quick, I'm gonna paint some nail heads because I know y'all want me to get onto it. Onto the thing, I'm just dipping, oh, that was black, but that's okay. I'm gonna dip my paint in the gray and in the black, and I'm gonna put me some, I know the frame's gonna come down a little ways, so I'm just going to come make some little dots, like nail heads. I meant to grab the brown and I grabbed the black, but it'll be okay. Just putting little dots, not perfect dots, just making little dots. What's the board you're painting on? It is just the canvas I cut out of this frame. And I put it on a foam board. Because the one I'm going to actually show y'all, it had to dry. I had to do a step... Because what I'm using to do the cotton with has to dry for a little while. And um, so I had to let it dry. And then I'm going to swap these out once I show y'all how to do it. So I'm just making some little nail heads. Not perfect. But um, put that in the water. So see, I just made little dots because you know the, the frame's going to come to about here. So I wanted to be able to see those. Okay, so let me let those dry a second. This won't take but a second. I can read y'all's. I know, they can paint those waterfalls and those trees, and I don't know if I can do all that now. <laughs> take your time. I just need to roll the kitchen and get a drink. Y'all are so funny. Yes, Carol, Bob Ross could talk you through a good nap. He sure could on a Sunday afternoon. And him talking about this little tree over here and this little tree over here. Yeah, he, you can take a nap listening to him. Okay, so there's our, whoop! There's our nail heads and our, looks like our little boards we got going on. Okay, 
So, I took, where's my cookie sheet? There it is. I took my cookie sheet. You know, I had the pumpkin cut out the other day from that right there. I cut that pumpkin out, and then I took the other part of it, and I cut out, and I, I just freehanded it. I didn't, I didn't do anything major to it, and I cut out a little vase-looking shape. I didn't trace it or anything. I just took my scissors and just kind of kept trimming on it till it looked like some type of little container, okay? So, I'm going to, real quick, um, trying to look for something to put it on. I'm going to put it on a paper towel because I'm going to make a mess. And I'm going to make that look all dingy looking like we did the pumpkin. I guess I could have done that ahead of time too. Now my dogs are going crazy over something. Okay. So I'm just going to take a makeup sponge. If y'all have ordered anything from me, y'all know that you've got some of this in your package. Um, I love them. Uh, I just put a little paint on. What color did I grab? This is Espresso from Anita's. I did burn umber the other day, but I'm just going to kind of, you know, dab it around and knock down some of that, that so shiny looking and kind of give it a little rustic feel to it. So see how it makes it look. I just kind of sponge it on heavier in some places than in others. And I'm just going to kind of, just to make it look, give it a little bit of a rusty feel. Make it look like rust. And I'm not, I'm gonna be careful tonight when I glue this down because I know it gets hot really fast from that hot glue. <laughs> so I'm just dab, dab, dabbing. Just kind of give it that, that look. And I'm gonna put a little bit of heavy in some places. We're fixing to get to the cotton. Squirt out a little more. Be cute, rusty looking. That's how I did that pumpkin the other night. I made it all rusty. In case y'all didn't see this, I'll show y'all my pumpkins. See? See how I did that one? That, that We did that the other night. And some of y'all have already recreated it, and they're just fantastic. Let me get that up there. Watch, it'll fall down in a minute and scare the, the Jesus out of me in a minute. <laughs> just propped up there it'll scare me okay all right so I got that all rusty looking like that just looks like rusty tin so I'm gonna set that over here and let that dry and when you use these all you got to do when you get done with a collar and you want to do another collar you just take your scissors and you just snip it off and now you can just keep on using it so I love using those little sponges Okay, here we go. Are you laughing because I said fixing to, Nancy? That's, you gotta have southern when you got cotton. I'm fixing to, I'm about to. Okay, so now our frame's gonna be down here where the nail, ho whoop, the nail holes, the nail heads are. So our frame's gonna be here. So I know that my little vase, would you rather me say vase? is going it's still wet but we know it's going to go somewhere right in here okay so let me uh wipe my fingers off i got stuff all over me okay so i'm just going to kind of eyeball where i want my cotton to be and i'm going to show y'all my secret trick let me get a clean i didn't get but one plate out here and i'm going to end up with something in my in my cotton if I'm not too careful. Okay. Dollar Tree makeup sponges. Yes. Okay. So here is what we're going to make cotton out of. Dollar Tree caulk. Um, I normally use um, joint compound that you can get from Lowe's. And I got my joint compound out today because I haven't used it in a while. It was all cracked and dried in my container. And y'all were laughing about me saying fixing too. Um, anyway, so um, you can get this at the Dollar Tree. You can get spackling. Spackling is more kind of a, um, it's like a sandy feel to it. And I have some of that and I started to use it. 
And I said, no, I'm scared it will crumble away. But this has got more of a smooth um, toothpaste kind of consistency. But I do use joint compound, and I've used that a lot. But my container was all um, dry. It's getting dry because I haven't used it in forever. Okay, so I'm going to use a real palette knife. But Dollar Tree does sell these little these little um, uh, palette knives, or you can use a popsicle stick, or you could use a butter knife out of the kitchen, whatever you want to use. But Dollar Tree does sell these little plastic sets. Don't pronounce the, yeah, the, they don't say the G. That's right, fixing. Yep, something, something. Yeah. Okay. So this is my tube that's well loved. It's gotten all of it out. I've cut off the tip. <laughs> And, um, but that's a brand new tube I've not even opened, but they do sell it at the Dollar Tree. So, but there's other stuff we can do with it. And at Christmas, I'm going to do some more stuff with the caulk. So yeah, I do, I do lots of stuff with the caulk. Okay. So I'm just taking some and squirting it out here on my plate, just like that. Uh, what do I do with my knife? Okay. So I've got my palette knife. Like I said, you can use a popsicle stick, whatever you want to use. I'm just using my little master's touch, okay? So, I'm thinking about where my vase is going to go and where I want to put them. So, when you paint, when you do stuff like this, um, think about, like if you were decorating your house. You know, you don't do two. You want to do three or you want to do five or seven you want to have an odd number. It just it's just easier on the eyes. It looks just looks better. So I'm just going to take a big old wad. So I'm going to do about five cotton balls up here. A big wad of caulk and I'm just going to kind of imagine where I want them and then I'm just going to kind of mash it on my canvas. And you just kind of work that stuff around. This is where you can have fun. You could do this with your fingers if you wanted to. Um, I'm just gonna kind of smooth it around and kind of make my cotton bowl. You know, usually they'll have a hump and then a hump and then a hump. Does that make sense? Um, just kind of do it in that form. And I just sit there with my little knife and I press it into the canvas. And then I just kind of make the little, make the little cotton bowl like this. See? See what I'm talking about with the three little humps? Just like that. Does that make sense? It's kind of hard to how to explain how to make humps in your cotton. So I'm just gonna get another one. And like I said, just you know, just look at it and kind of figure out. Okay, well I'm gonna put one up here, down here, down low. Um, but you could do this with your fingers. You totally could. Your kids could do that with their fingers. So now I've got some more on there and I'm going to come over here and just going to mash it. Now everybody's going to be running to the Dollar Tree to get some caulk. Um, but I, I do this, I used to do them on Christmas ornaments. Um, and I would have little shapes of Mississippi and I would put a cotton bowl on there and use them to do Christmas ornaments with cotton on it. Um, and I, I've sold a lot of those. and But this is so simple. So I would have all these little shapes lined up on my table. And I'd have them painted. And then I would just go to each one and make cotton balls on each one. And let them dry overnight. And then I'd come back the next day and kind of um, touch them up and make them look a little better. And we're, that's what we're going to do next. That's why mine had to dry. Okay, so I'm just getting some more. And I'm just kind of making my little... Just kind of like you're smearing cream cheese on a bagel or something. You're just going to kind of smear it down and just have fun with it and, and make you some little fluffy little cotton bowls. And these are actually bigger than the ones I did earlier. See? So there's my cotton bowls. So, and it'll dry like that. It'll dry um, textured, raised up like that. And um, have you ever used Elmer's glue? on a canvas. No, I don't guess I have. Okay, so now that's three. So I'm going to do one over here and just kind of just keep mashing it like you're putting butter on toast or jelly on toast. 
you can't go wrong with this because it's really not it's really not any um, special skill and you would paint these the same way I just wanted to show y'all this method because I think it's really cool and plus um, we're gonna use some caulk when we get closer to Christmas um, <laughs> you would just get lazy and sticky some cotton balls on there then you can say I made this one, two, three, four. Okay, I'm going to put another one over here. I kind of like this one better than the one I did earlier. <laughs> Isn't that terrible? I do. I like this one better. I kind of made them bigger. Second time's always better, right? Because the first time you kind of know what you did that you didn't like, you know, the first time. So, but that's all it is to it. You can just keep kind of smoothing over them with the knife or whatever popsicle stick so don't feel like you got to have some special tool to do this because you really don't i just wanted to use my palette knife that's what i painted this with this is painted with a palette knife now you're all gonna want me to show y'all sunflowers that's all done with a palette knife and it's got but it's actually paint it's not called but this is a lot of fun to paint with and you've really got to practice. I know sunflowers are not that hard. You'd be surprised. Um, anyway, they are, they're actually pretty simple to do. Okay. So now I'm just kind of getting my little mountain peaks all laying down so they won't flake off. Okay. So here's my five little cotton bowls. And y'all, I'm going to try to hold it close so y'all can kind of see how it's all raised off there so they're just it's just on there so now I would set that and I would let it dry for it says on the thing it says um, wait two hours before painting or 24 hours with oil based paint it says it's protected from water protect from water until cured 72 hours so you know I've I've had this one painted over here that I've already done since about, I don't know, like three o'clock. So it's been driving, drive, driving. It's been driving. It's been drying for um, a few hours. See, these are smaller. I like the bigger ones now that I've done them bigger. But, um, so see, this is the one that's dried. It's already, they're all dry and they're hard. Um, so now I'm going to show y'all how to do the rest of it. Oh, Allison, you're so sweet. Dollar Tree Caulk. That's right. Dollar Tree Caulk. Looks like icing, doesn't it? Okay. And that's basically what it is. If you can ice a cake, you can make these cotton bowls. I promise. Um, I haven't tried that, Marie. That would be interesting to find out if you could pick. I, I don't see why you couldn't mix it with paint color. 3D painting with clay. Yeah, that would be awesome. Um, Betty, we are painting cotton bowls with caulk from the Dollar Tree. So, so see, I actually did this on a canvas board. And it's a, you know, one of those hard boards. And it's going to go, look at how pretty it looks. It's going to go like this. Just like the canvas would. So, I don't think you got to do this. But look how pretty that's going to look with that gray. That look pretty. Okay. So, so <laughs> she said sunflowers tag your it. Oh my goodness. Love these cotton balls. Okay. So now um, I'm going to go ahead and paint my stems and stuff first before we put our little, our little vase on. Here's my little vase. It's all dried, but don't it look rusty? That looks cool, doesn't it? You thought I was actually going to paint. Oh, you thought I was going to paint the actual ones. Oh, yeah, that's kind of funny. <laughs> that is funny. Anyway, I guess I should have been more specific. We're going to paint a picture of cotton bowls. Maybe that sounds better. Is there a video on? No, Kim, I did that those sunflowers before I started doing this. Um, lives and stuff. So, it's it, no, there's not one. But I guess now I'm going to have to, right? Because I showed it to y'all. Um... Oh, Judy, well, welcome. I'm glad you're here. Okay. So, got my little bitty brush. And now I'm going to get into my my brown right here. Because cotton has brown stems after you pick it and it gets dried. 
And this is the easy part. You just kind of, um, so we want all of our stems to come down because there's going to be a little vase here. So I'm just going to find the base of each one and I'm just going to come down. Doesn't have to be straight, like I said before. Just kind of have to, because it's not going to be, they're not straight in real life. So, so I'm going to show y'all how to paint up onto the caulk and all that stuff. So I'm just painting straight lines down from the cotton so they would be going into the vase, just like this. Y'all see? That's all I'm doing. It's just painting the little lines. <laughs> now you won't be able to find the caulk. Hopefully so. Hopefully they're not going to sell out a caulk because I painted a caulk painting. <laughs> you thought I was going to paint actual cotton balls. I'm sorry. I guess I should have been more specific. That's hilarious. Okay. All right. So this one right here, see how it goes? And then it's going to come down underneath that one. So I'm just going to paint. Let me hold it where y'all can see it. So I'm just going to pretend, okay, it's going behind there. And then it's coming back out. I'm just going to go straight down. Because all this down here is going to be covered up with our little our rusty vase that we made like this. Okay, this is gonna look so cute. Okay, all right, and I'm just, you know, drawing where I think they would all go. And then I'm just gonna, so I've got all my stems painted. I'm just gonna kind of go back over them so the blue doesn't really show through and get them a little darker. And I'm gonna actually tap my brush in a little black just to give them that little dimension on the st on just the stems, like you would have shadows or something. I'm sorry, I can't look at comments that much. A hundred dollars on eBay, Karen said. Yes, that's crazy. There is like a motorcycle or something going by outside. I don't know if y'all can hear that or not. It's loud. All right. Now my dogs are going crazy barking because they hear this motorcycle or whatever it is. Okay. So see, I just kind of added, I don't know if y'all can tell on camera. I just kind of added a little black to them. Now they look really black, but um, just to kind of give them a little bit of shadows because they were kind of transparent through that blue. Just kind of fixing them. Okay. Now, this is the fun part. Oh, well, good, Deb. I'm glad you're here. Okay. So, now, you know, the cotton has those little... I got cotton over there. But you know how they have those little brown things? I guess the bud and then the cotton opens up when it blooms. And it's got those little brown husk-looking things. So, that's what we're going to paint now. And that's probably what y'all are scared of. <laughs> to paint the most. But, honestly, it's not hard. I'm just dipping my paintbrush in, a, in the brown and maybe just a just a titch of black, just a little bit. And then I'm gonna kind of make the little part down here or the little bud where it comes onto the stem. I hope y'all can see. And then I'm just gonna kind of start little and then get big all the way down. Did y'all see how I did that? Like that. So they, they start little up here and then I just kind of put more pressure on my brush and get fat as they go down. Like that. And if you get it too skinny, go back and add some, add some, add some, um, make them wider if they look too skinny. And then, of course, there's one, you know, usually there's one in the middle. So I barely put my paintbrush down. And then as I go down, I just start pressing hard and making that, making it fatter. So I'm just going to kind of make it a little wider because I want it to be a little bit wider. So did you see that? So that's how you do that. And, and then you're going to come over here. We're going to go and I'm going to do the same thing. Let's see. Okay. Just kind of kind of paint down here at the bottom where the stem is and kind of give it a little bit of bulk to it. And then I'm going to do the same exact thing. A little brown. And then, a, yeah, a burr. Is that what it's called? I make it look so easy. Well, it's not perfect by any means, but 
it'll just it'll get the job done. I can't believe y'all can't hear that motorcycle. My dogs are going crazy. All right. So I just start small and then I just kind of make it big on the, as, on the way down. Same thing in the middle. Well, I hate that y'all thought I was painting real, uh, real cotton balls. That's funny. <laughs> I guess I should have been more specific. See? I make it look so easy. Oh, thank you, Dana. You're so sweet. I try because I want everybody to be able to do it. But it's, I promise y'all, it's really not hard. You just put your paintbrush down up here and then just get fat on the way down. Just kind of make it skinny and then you can come out here and paint another thing beside it and make it a little fatter like that. I'm trying to be where y'all can see. And then, you know, there's the, usually it's three of those little things. And you kind of have to paint in those little grooves of the caulk. And they don't all look the same, but see? So y'all all, all going to go buy y'all some, some caulk and make some cotton. But like I said, we're going to do um, some Christmas stuff with it too. But that dollar tube goes a long way. I'm glad I'm not the only one that thought that. Well, I'm glad you weren't either, but I, I sure didn't even think about um, telling y'all that it was an actual picture of cotton and not the actual cotton bowls that we were painting. Yours would look like Kevin. It would not look like a popcorn accident. That's so funny. Now you're going to make me think it looks like popcorn. Okay. So same thing. You just go up here, start skinny. And then just press your brush down and get fat with your brush. And then just kind of fill it in and make it look like it's fatter at one end than it is at the other. See? Just kind of make them go all different directions. It'll be fine. And I got one more. And that caulk is really easy to paint on. So it's like the spackling, I don't know how it would do because it's more kind of gritty. But I did started to I started to use it, but because I have some over there from the Dollar Tree, they sell it too. Um, I'm just trying to hurriedly finish. Okay, so there's our cotton. Now, how hard was that? It's not hard at all, is it? Does that look like cotton? <laughs> all right, so there's that. And y'all can do this. You thought I was painting cotton balls. <laughs> y'all are so funny. I guess I should have been more specific. Because Nancy's been asking me to teach her how to paint cotton for a while. It did sound like bowl. It is, it is a bowl. It's a B-O-L-L. -L, a cotton bowl. If y'all know why I keep saying it that way. Um, it's a cotton bowl. B-O-L-L. -L. Oh, thank you, Kay. You're so sweet. Okay. So here's our little rusty vase that we made out of the cookie sheet. That's what it looks like. And we painted the front and that's what it looks like now. Just kind of dabbed on some brown paint. And I'm gonna put my frame, maybe I need to put my frame on first. Kind of like that one over there, <laughs> actually. Okay. So see, this is what it's gonna look like. How cute is that? Isn't that look cute? Okay, it's not hard for you. Okay, so I'm just gonna put my frame down so I'll know where to put my vase is gonna go. And I am gonna stick my vase under my frame. Oh y'all, this is cute. Wait till y'all see it. And I gotta get my little um, my little silicone finger things because when I did those pumpkins right there, I'm telling you, the minute that, um, that hot glue hits this, Whew, it got hot quick. Okay, so I'm gonna just put some hot glue on the back. So it is kind of like a mixed media project. And look, I'm holding it with the wrong hand. Because that whole little piece of 
cookie sheet stuff got hot. I don't want to burn myself quickly. Okay, so I'm going to put it down. Oh, y'all, that table is hot right there where it was sitting down. And I'm just going to kind of mash it down. But it's hot. So if you do this, be careful because it is very hot. That it just heats up so quick. That hot glue heats up that tin. Okay. Y'all wait till y'all see how cute this is. Let me show y'all. I'm kind of proud of my little cotton painting. Look how stinking cute. You can't give me hearts or thumbs up or nothing. What'd you say? See? Yeah, I might put a bow on it. What do y'all think? You think it needs like a little bow or something? Hey, Suki. Lives in, have to friend who lives in Enterprise. That's where I actually live, was Enterprise. Burnt myself yesterday. It's not fun. I want to make this, but everything you make, it try from you. Oh, I bet it does too, Jackie. I bet it does. How did I make the vase? Um, I pick it up with my, with my foot. Sorry. It was one of these from the Dollar Tree. Just a tin cookie sheet that comes two in a pack for a dollar. And, um, I cut this pumpkin out of part of it. And then I cut this vase out of that. I just freehanded it. I just cut a little, a vase looking shape out of it. And then I dabbed on some brown paint to make it look all rusty looking. Because I kind of wanted a little bit of a um, a mixed medium kind of thing going on like we did the pumpkins. So now I need a bow on the vase or something. So I did get some ribbon out here to see. So y'all want to go with buffalo check? <laughs> or should I go with like um, some lace? I got some lace. Or this kind of lace from the Dollar Tree. You're definitely doing this tomorrow. Oh, yes. I want to see. Y'all be sure to put it on the group so I can see it. Because um, I want to see how y'all's turn out. Oh, thank you, Nancy. think you'll make one. It's really not hard. I promise. It's really not. If you break it down in steps, it's not hard at all. And then I have that. So, I think I'm going to try to make some type of a bow. Like a real bow. Maybe I need to. Maybe I need this. And I have, what else do I have over here? I got some raffia on a roll though. Can you show me the pumpkins that you did? I can. This is the same frame, same canvas, but I actually did use the canvas in this one for the back. And I painted it like shiplap with just a little paint. And this is that corrugated cardboard. And I just took apart a piece of an Amazon box. And then this was a placemat from Hobby Lobby that I cut this out of. And then this was the cookie sheet. And then I used little sticks in the yard. And I used that um, wire jute for the little curlies. And put some moss on there and made a cute little bow. And that's what I made. And if you're in the group, you ought to see all the ones that other people have done. Because they are so precious. Everybody's kind of using different stuff. So, yeah, somebody said raffia will be cute. I had to get this raffia on a roll because Lee can't stand the regular raffia because it is, um, I don't know. It, um, I have raffia rage. I can't stand it. Okay, so I don't know what I'm going to do now. I don't know if I should make a bow out of this lace. I think the little lace would probably be... Real cute. But how am I going to do this? That's another thing. Because y'all don't make bows. <sighs> put the ribbon glue across the top of the base. And then put half wood beads at the top of the base. At the bottom of the ribbon. Oh, Lord. I'm, t I'm worried about my bow. Because y'all know I can't do bows. I need somebody to come on here and make me some bows. Because <laughs> I can't do this. Okay. But I'm going to try. Gonna try, gonna try. Gotta get out of my comfort zone and try new things. But this ribbon doesn't have any wire in it. So, I just like this little lace. Something about it. That looks good with my little cotton. Lace. That's what I think too. 
But now I can't promise this is gonna be pretty because I'm just gonna kinda halfway kinda make me one, not really tie a bow. It's probably not gonna look good. Especially on a live, you know, it's not gonna look as good if, if nobody was here. <laughs> oh, Cecilia, that's so sweet. I love that name, Cecilia. Okay. Let's see. Y'all, I'm just kind of winging it, so hang on a second. I gotta cut some of this off. I just got a piece to kind of wrap around my little whatever I'm trying to make. Tie a shoelace. Okay. That's kind of what it does looks like. What are we going to see? I need to take a bow class. I guess I need to get on YouTube and, um, make a bow, get, take some bow classes or something. Because I bet some of y'all can make some jam up bows, but this girl can't. It is not my jam. I'll make you bows if you paint my cotton. That's the deal, Becky. You got a deal. See, like I said the other night, we all, you know, everybody has their talents and everybody has um, things that they're good at, things that they're not good at. And um, that's why we need each other because, you know, there's a lot of things I can't do that somebody else can do. And um, everybody has something to bring to the table. So don't think that you can't because there's something that you can do a whole lot better than me, I'm sure. So everybody has something to offer. That's the way God made us. He made it to where we um, we all accent each other because we um, we were all the same. It'd be kind of boring, now, wouldn't it? A refab bow. I always do a refab bow. So that's what <laughs> I was trying not to do one because I always do a refab bow. That's what that is on that. So... Ooh, y'all, I don't know about this. My loop's too big. I'm gonna have to make it smaller or something. Gotta fix it. I'm gonna rig it up in the back. I gotta rig it up in the back because <laughs> one of my loops is too big. Yes, we all have our talent. Shopping for supplies and not making crafts. Hey, that's okay too. That's okay too. That's a whole hobby in itself is actually shopping for the supplies. You make it, I'll buy it. Yeah, that's the way a lot of people are. Okay, so let me show y'all my little lace bow and see what you think. I think I'm gonna put it like up here, like that. Just want something kind of simple. The jute on a roll or the raffia on a roll, is that what you're wanting to this? This came from a place called Nashville Wraps and they're online and um, it's paper raffia and this is like a hundred yards. So this will last me forever and a lifetime. Um, but I got some Christmas colors and it's like, it's paper raffia, but I can deal with this because the stuff that comes from Dollar Tree, mm -mm. I have a, end up having a, a fit with it. Now see, I can work with this wired stuff. Look, this Buffalo check, I can work with the wired stuff. I'm not expert, but what if I put that in the middle? That look bad? I know it's cream and white, and then put it on there. Let's see, Let's see what y'all think. See, what if I put the buffalo behind it and did it like that? I think that looks cute. Put a button in the middle of the bow. I could do that. My buttons are like way up there though. And I have bunches of buttons. Okay, maybe I need to do that. Let's see what, <laughs> did y'all see that little, Finger protector just like flip up from my scissors. Okay, what if I did that? I'm just playing with it now, trying to get it to, get it to do something. Glue it, I'm cheating on my bows. They're not really bows, they're just kind of halfway bows. I like the lace by itself. Ugh, I stuck to my table. <laughs> real life crafts here. Real life crafts. Okay. So see, do y'all like it like this? No, don't y'all just judge me on my bows because they are. I need some. I need some help with my bows. And put it on there or just the lace. 
Two bows look good. Perfect looks good. Use, no use raffia. Yes, buffalo. Okay, so see. See if I can get it to stay. Like that, or to the side, or right in the center. Let's see. There we go. Maybe a little bling in the middle of the bow. Oh, let's see. I'd have to get up and get my bling. Yes, yes, too cute. Okay, I need to cut that one's longer, so I need to cut it off. I'm OCD. I gotta have it even. Even. I have to use a little fire. If I can use my lighter and get it to press down. Gosh, y'all, I can't even press the deck on button down. Just burning my edges of my ribbon because it'll. It'll start whatever, fraying. That's what I'm trying to say. Okay, so right in the center. Okay, do that. Cookie sheet's gonna get hot as fire again. I'm warning y'all if you do this, I'm telling you, that whole sheet will be hot just from that one dot of glue. It's crazy. I guess, I mean, it's aluminum. I guess that's why. All right, let me get it all fixed. So now, I got that going. So now, um, if let me tell you something else too while I'm thinking about it. If you wanted to, you could always take a little bit of this brown paint on a sponge and just dab some of it off. And you could kind of put some on the cotton balls, just in the little high spots, just to give it a little bit of um dimension i'll show you what i'm talking about let me do it a little in a little bitty little bit of places so you can kind of see that just kind of gives it a little something something i guess there we go where it's not so stark white okay see can y'all see the cotton how it gives it that little bit of dimension giving it that little, just that little touch of brown on the cotton. And it gives it a little bit of uh, depth to it and a little dimension. Okay, now I gotta put on my frame. Do you have any buttons to use in the middle of your bow? I do, I, I have more buttons than you think that I have probably. <laughs> and anybody have seen, um, yeah, the shadow with Nancy and kind of make it a little dingy cause you know, it's out in the field. Is that painted cotton? It is, Suki. We painted it with caulk. I made cotton bowls with caulk from the Dollar Tree with a palette knife and on this canvas. Okay. Look how cute this is. See how cute? But yes, I have so much. Um, yes, it matches with the lace. Actually, where's my... Put a little more. I mean, you just barely use a little bitty bit and just kind of... I got too much. So you can always wipe it off if you get too much. Now, it doesn't look so white. Looks like real cotton. See? There we go. I hope y'all can see that because I can't see when I hold it up. So now I've got to attach my canvas because I used my canvas board and I'm hoping I can get this to stay. Isn't that cute? Y'all are all going to try the dingy. Yes, making it kind of dingy. So I hope y'all all try this. Now I'm going to attempt to put my frame on my canvas board. And not burn myself while I'm holding it. And hope that it stays. It's Gorilla Glue stick, so we're gonna say it's gonna stay and not get my fingers in it. Now I'm just gonna lay on it a second. Yes, that I, I totally forgot to dingy up my cotton, so I, I saw it and I was like, oh, I need to do that. Just gives it a little extra something, something to it. Just a little dimension and 
a little depth where it's kind of realistic. So this turned out so stinking cute. I got to figure out where I'm going to hang it. Yes. It's all about the details. It's all about the details. Silicone spatula push things down when you're putting them down. So, yes, Becky, I need to. And I have my little finger things. But the other night, I just didn't think anything about that. <laughs> that little thing's getting, that pumpkin getting as hot as it did. Um, okay. Good night, Kathy. Oh, somebody's got to go. Oh, bye, Lynn. Okay. All right, so here it is. It stayed. Look how stinking cute. I just love it. And you could do a bow up here if you wanted to. If you wanted to add something else here and put a bow up here, you could do it. You could put those half bead split ball things. You could put them all around the frame. There's so much you could do to this, and I'm sure that y'all will when I see y'all in the group. But one last thing, I got to sign the bottom or put my initials at the bottom. So I'm just gonna kinda put it over here somewhere. So I just put it right next to the little, I just wrote my initials right, I can't point, right here. I just put my initials right there beside the little thing with my Sharpie. But y'all I'm proud of my little thing. So that's so cute, I hope y'all try it. But you could actually paint them if you wanted to and do the same thing. Just take your white paint and just make, just, you know, wax on, wax off. Make it, make your little um, cotton ball just the shape that you want it with your paint. And then go back and take your little bitty paintbrush and you could just streak some little brown in there and it would be totally fine. Oh, thank you, Janice. You're so sweet. Y'all are so sweet. I don't know if I'm that amazing, but... Did you use 15 miller? Yes, I think they were 15, 15 or 16, something like that. What size frame did you use? Oh, it was 11 by 14. And then I just used a hard canvas. But you could totally use the canvas that came in it. I Don't ask me why I did it this way. I really, really don't know. But I'll probably go back and paint this right here gray where it doesn't show as much. But isn't it stinking cute? So I hope y'all try it. But like I said, I do these on um, little wood shapes at Christmas. Um, I would sell them and um, in a vend at the vendor mall that I was in. And I would, you know, put them on the little thing, different colors like red and green and black. Um, put the little buffalo check thing on there. And it was, they're so stinking cute. And they're so easy. But um, being from Mississippi, you know, we have a lot of cotton here. Arkansas has cotton. A lot of places have cotton. 2020 and signed. Yeah, I didn't even put 20 on there. But anyway, it's so cute. I hope y'all try it because I cannot wait to see. But my supplies are dwindling. This virus is not allowed to go. Yeah, I know, Judy. And you could probably, I know you can get some online. Um, probably Hobby Lobby and have it shipped to your house. I'm sure Amazon has got like craft paint in a pack. And, you know, even if you just have, um, your basic colors, black, white, you know, mix your black and your white, make gray, you know, that kind of stuff. You can make your own colors. So, yes, yeah, thank y'all for sprinkling. I'll pick a winner, and we, I will um, send y'all some gnomes. So, um, thank y'all for sprinkling and watching. Um, grown cotton here in Arizona. Oh, wow, I did not know that. Wow. Yes, I hope y'all come back and watch. Fixing to... <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I say it all the time. It's a Southern thing. That's what we say. Nobody thinks anything about it because that's what we all say. I know where yonder is too, by the way. <laughs> it's over yonder. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, y'all sprinkle. And um, yes, Hobby Lobby online and Amazon online. I'm sure all the craft stores online have it by now. Um, sometimes uh, Zoo Lily will have craft paint too, like little sets of craft paint on little sections on Zoo Lily, but I'm sure Amazon does. But anyway, yes, it's all thanks to Nancy Taylor. This is Nancy Taylor's, uh, this is her idea of wanting me to paint some cotton. And I, I've just been struggling at how I was gonna do it. So I just came up with this. <laughs> so um, 
and I knew I wanted to do something besides just paint, painting a vase or something. I wanted to do something different, have a little crafty element to it. I ordered the oil paint takes long to dry. Yes, Kara, oil paint's hard to work with. I, I've never used it, but I know it takes a long time to dry and it's kind of sticky. Um, thank y'all for sprinkling. You worked on your stack pumpkins. Yeah, everybody have a great weekend. So cute. Thank you, Miss Southern. Yes, I know. I can't help it. I try not to talk that way and it's worse. <laughs> it's just me. So, from one Southern girl to another. Yes, Marion. Fixing to sprinkle. <laughs> yep. So, I don't have an accent. Y'all have an accent. Georgia and that is the way we talk that's right we say fixing to and it's over yonder fixing to go over yonder did you eat yet <laughs> that's just how we are so anyway and I don't think anything about it I am from Joe I am from uh, northern Mississippi well I mean I'm really from central Mississippi but I live north Mississippi sunflowers next okay that's a little bit more difficult but they're not they're not as hard as you think though they really aren't Oh, oh, thank you, Vivian. Y'all are sweet. So, there's that. So, um, yes, you have a good weekend, Peggy. Y'all have a good weekend. I am cutting pumpkins, and I'm cutting trucks, and they will hopefully be back up tomorrow night, I'm hoping, but I have been cutting all afternoon, so um, if you're wanting the pumpkins or the trucks or anything like that, I'm going to have those back up um, probably tomorrow night. So, um, y'all are just ordering and ordering and ordering and I just, it's just crazy and I do appreciate it. Oh, thank you, Judy. I love all of y'all too. I say fix to live in Texas. Yep, Brenda in Texas. I'm from West Virginia and I talk like that. Good. <laughs> I'm not all by myself. Okay. Oh, yeah. Bless your heart. <laughs> yep. Becky from Arkansas. We talk like that. Oh, Allison, it's okay. You can go back and watch what you missed. Oh, y'all are sweet. Oh, good, Nancy. I hope you try this, Nancy. I want to see yours. This is all for you. All right, guys. Well, I'm going to hop off and go see what my family's doing. I don't hear anything. It's kind of scary. So, I'm going to go, um, oh, Iowa, and you say fixing. Okay. See? Okay. I'm going to jump off, and I'll see y'all later, but I'll post when I'm going to um, put the stuff back on my shop if y'all haven't got some. So, I'm cutting and cutting and cutting and cutting, and, and I'm going to get them on there. I'll post the time. Yes, I'll give you enough time. If you if you go over to my group and join my group, I always tell them first, and then I come tell y'all uh, on my regular page. So, go to my page and go to the... There's a pinned uh, thing at the top, and it says, join my group and just click the link and it'll take you to the group. And then you just answer a question and you, it lets you in. So, um, but there's lots of talented people in there showing their stuff, get in there, show your stuff. But I'll make an announcement in there first and then I'll go to my regular page and announce it there. So, um, all right, night y'all hugs to y'all too. And I will see y'all later. Okay. Oh, thank you, Julie. You're so sweet. My website is theturquoisevalentine.com, and then if you go to the top and hit shop, it'll take you to my shop. Um, but I'll put, I'm going to put, load everything up tomorrow night, because I just can't, I can't keep it stocked, because y'all all just, y'all just buy it all, so. Um, yay, okay. <laughs> yeah, so be in the group, and I'll probably announce it, you know, when I'm going to, when I'm going to put them up in the shop, because they'll be gone just like that. No matter how many I cut. So, but I appreciate every one of y'all. Y'all just making my dream come true. And I can't tell you how much it means to me. So, um, y'all have a good night too. And I will see y'all later, okay? See ya. Enjoy the weekend. Bye, guys.